My name is Belkis and you're welcome to my channel. If this is your first time of checking out this channel, just hit the subscribe button and tap on the bell because you won't want to miss any of my tutorials anymore. Today is going to be a quick one. We'll be making a cape top or a circle top and you just need about one and a half yards to make that. Yes, trust me. It is so easy to make. And what are the measurements you need? You just need the measurement from your center back here right to where you want it to stop. Just take your measuring tape, place it this way, and wherever you want it to stop. I'll be doing like 22 inches is okay for my sleeve length. And then for the length of the top, just measure from the nape of your neck down to wherever you want it to be. So I will be making it 26. So for the sleeve, I will make 22. And then for the length, I will make 26. So right now, let's go to our fabric and check out what we need to do. Yeah, I have one and a half yards of fabric and it is folded this way let me see that so this is the width of the fabric this is the width and this is the length which is by 45 so after folding it that way the next thing will be to fold it this way because it is a full circle top and this is what I will have can you see that it's folded into four so this will be for the sleeve and this will be for the length of the top and we will insert our neckline here. So I haven't done that, I will check if it will be enough for my sleeve and also for the length. This is it, I have 22 so it's okay for my sleeve length. If you want a shorter one like 16, 19, you could do that. And then for the length, here I have 28 and I actually wanted 26 so it is more than enough so what will i do all i have to do is insert the 26 inches here and then i will move a little 26 a little more 26 then remember for the sleeve i said 22 so 22 is here I will move it from this side a little. So I have my 22 here. So what do I do now? I'll just connect from here. Let me see that. Down to here. And this is what the top looks like. Can you see that? So after doing that, the next thing now is to go to the neckline. So you determine whatever you want to use for the width and also for the depth. So for the width, I will just do five inches. So my five inches will be here. And then for the depth, I will make it three and a half inches, which will be here. Then I will take my hand hole and then connect. So the neckline is formed. Can you see that? So this will be going off. Then I'll take my scissors to first I will cut off the main top. And you see that was pretty easy. So you could have your top in 10 minutes. Is ready then we go to the neckline so but before cutting the neckline let me just explain the sleeve area because we will be sewing this part so that by the time you just lift up your hands you don't have all your body showing okay. so what you just do is this for the handhold usually my handhold is about eight and a half but for this top since it's a free top i'll make it like 10 inches just add two inches to whatever your handhold is if i have two inches to mine to make it 10.5 but I will just make it 10. So 10 is around this way, which is okay. So what I will just do is this. So 10 inches is around here. Or better still, insert your shoulder measurements. Let me go into details for others that are still beginners. So my shoulder measurement is 8.5, which is here. So what I will do now is, since I said I wanted 10 inches, so it will be somewhere around here. 
my hand hole is actually 8.5 but because it's a free top i'll make it 10 inches so what i'll do now is quarter of my bust you need the measurement the circumference of your bust like mine is 42 and quarter of that is 10.5 i will just add half an inch to it to make it 11. so that would be around here on this 10 inches mark so which is around here can you see that so because this has to be able to accommodate my bust all you have to do now is to take my ruler my, i will use my ruler to connect from my bust point down to where I want the sleeve to be. So for the sleeve, you could just take around 10 to 12 inches. So this is it. So 10 inches or 12. You could just make it 12. 12 inches. And from here, I will connect to this post measurement. So can you see this? So by the time I want to sew, I will just sew here. So by the time I lift up my hands, my body won't be showing at all. So I will just cut up the neckline. So you as good as one. I'll just open it up for you to see. But for you to transfer this to the other part, all you have to do is to just this is the point. Just note it here, and then lift this here and note it here. Let me see that. So I will just connect on this side. Can you see? A circle top is formed. That was pretty easy, isn't it? So right now, I'll just take to my sewing machine and just finish up this neckline with a bias strip, and then sew from here down to here, and then hang the lower part, and we are done. So now this is my bias strip, and I've opened it up. This is on the right side. I will just take my bias strip, open it up this way, fold it this way, because we'll be sewing on this folded part first before turning it. Mm. And then I'll keep doing that all through. So right now I've pinned the bias strip. Can you see that? So right now I'll take to my sewing machine and just sew. Just quarter inch all through, then notch it. Then I will fold this way. Can you see that? I will fold inward and then sew on it. So having done that, I sewed this on the wrong side because I want a bit of the bias strip to show at the neck. So this is what I have. So this is the right side now. I will just take, remember I sewed quarter inch. I will just flip it over this way. Can you see that? So that means I will have a bit on the wrong side and a bit on the right side. Keep pinning it, just flip it over. Can you see that? So this is how it looks on the wrong side and the right side. So I'll keep pinning all through, then sew it down. So this is the finished result of the neckline. So the next thing now is to hem the lower part. What I'll just do is to fold in quarter inch and then fold in again. And I'll keep doing that all through and make sure I sew it all through before going over to the sleeve area and then I will sew from here to here right now the top is ready you can see the sleeve has been taken in so I'll just give it a good press and show you how it looks on me and this is the result of the top you just made can you see it's so beautiful so nice so just give it a try and share with us on Facebook our Facebook group is sewing innovation just search for it and try to join the administrators will be waiting to approve your request it's a platform whereby you can ask questions on any type of outfit and other members can help you out you can follow me on instagram with his signatures try to follow me here yeah. and make sure you tell your friends about our channel another thing about the online classes are very much going on so please if you are interested in the beginners class the intermediate class and also the advanced class just get in touch with us, I will try to put the contact number in the comment section below. I will make sure it is pinned. So that will be the first comment you will see in the comment section. So just make sure you try out your simple circle or cape and share with us. So I will leave you for now. Bye.